Hi there, my name's Dr Viv Rolf. I work at De Montford University in Leicester and this is a whistle stop tour of how to use our biology courses website and I'll explain what that all means. So I'm part of the open education team in the Faculty of Health and Life Sciences at De Montford. You can see where Leicester is in relation to the UK there. We have a number of undergraduate degree programmes including midwifery, biomedical science and medical science and the open education team is releasing and sharing learning materials on all of those subjects. So just quickly, well, what is open learning or open education? Well, there's a whole global change now and it's fantastic because it's meaning that schools and colleges and universities, education institutions are sharing the learning resources, sharing them for academics like myself to use and save time and also sharing for students to use to supplement their learning, to enrich their learning. But these materials are openly available to anyone, anyone that wants to learn and find out more. So look out for open learning, open education, open education resource. And that's what it means. So if I go to the Biology Courses website, www.biologycourses.co.uk, let's see what we see. So it's quite a new site. We launched this project in December 2011. If you go to the About page, it gives you details of who's funding the project. I'm awfully grateful to Hefke, and the project is part of the UK Open Education Resource Programme um, that's run by JISC and the HEA, and you can read about that, and you can read about our other open education projects too. So we're very, very grateful to JISC and the HEA, and they're a fantastic bunch of people to work with. Now the site really is divided into two areas. You've got a news blog and you've got an open education resource area where our learning materials are shared. So if we just quickly talk about the news blog area, this is news, bits of interesting information, just, just general and informal stuff that we want to tell you about the project. So here we've got a picture of someone punting. That's because we've recently been to a conference in Cambridge in the UK and talked about our educational resources. And there's a series of other little informal snippets and videos as well about the project. So that's the news area. So you can have a browse around that. But if you want to use our learning materials, you go to the Open Educational Resource section. So you can do a few things here. You can search using the search tab here. It might be easy at the moment to navigate so you can see what's there. We've got stuff on microbiology, the microscope. And if you scroll down, we can find our microscope resources. So if I click on the title there, this is a blog template. So it takes me through to that article. Um, and you can see all the details. You can see who the authors are. Um, you can see who it's intended for. Well, really anyone. These are basic laboratory science skills. And you've got a video there of how to use the microscope. Um, if you see this little CC icon, that's the thing to look for anywhere on the internet. That means Creative Commons. That is an open license. That means all our stuff is openly licensed for you to use. So you can use this download it, reuse it, adapt it, edit it. You can do what you damn well like with it and, and share it. So um, please feel free to do so. So finally, to contact us, to get our resources, you can follow our RSS feed. You can use the Twitter icon there to come and tweet to me and chat to me that way. Increasingly, we have students uh, and school children coming onto our Facebook page, which you can see there. So come and like us click on the like and come and have a chat come and share materials work on stuff together that would be fantastic um, if we go back to the site there's videos on here animations pdf files quizzes all sorts of things and if you look at the video what you'll find is that will take you through to youtube and to our youtube channel which is what you see here and on here we've got all our resources as they become shared and released and these are not only videos but we also adapt and convert our animations our flash animations to video this means our stuff's viewable on all sorts of computers on apples on pcs and also on a range of mobile devices okay so that's a whistle stop tour of our open education resource program i just wanted to leave you with the final slide and um, feel free to come and chat to us